Hello third graders, my name is Miss Morris. Today we are going to learn about shapes, the categories they belong in, and the attributes they share. Now for this lesson, a category a shape belongs in is simply the name of the shape. An attribute is how we would describe the shape, like this shape has four sides, and this shape has no sides. So let's name some of the shapes we know. Okay, so what shape is this? You can just say out loud what shape you think it is. That's right, it's a triangle. Okay, so now what shape is this plate? That's right, it's a circle. And what about this picture frame? What shape is it? That's right, it's a square. Now what about this TV? That's right, it's a rectangle. Now it seems like you guys have the basics down easy peasy. Let's try something a little bit harder. Okay, now what about this shape? What do you think its name is? This funky shape is actually called a parallelogram. Let's try a different shape. What's this shape called? I'll give you a hint. It's not a parallelogram. This shape is actually called a rhombus. So what do you think this shape is called? This shape is actually called a trapezoid. Now, we've learned about a couple new shapes, or maybe some shapes that you already know. Let's see what attributes they all share. Now, by looking at all of these shapes that are up here, what do they all have in common? These shapes all seem to have four sides, which makes them quadrilaterals. Quadrilaterals are simply shapes that have four sides. Quad means four, and lateral just means sides. Okay, so just to go into a little more detail about what a quadrilateral is, it's any shape with four sides. This shape clearly isn't a rectangle, it's not a rhombus, and it's not a parallelogram. But this shape does have four sides, which makes it a quadrilateral. So now let's look at what makes a trapezoid a trapezoid. Clearly it's got four sides to it, which makes it a quadrilateral. But what really makes it a trapezoid is that it has two sides that are parallel to each other. So with this trapezoid, it's the top line and the bottom line that are parallel to each other, meaning that they are going in the same direction. Now it's two sides that connect the top and the bottom don't have to be equal to each other. But this one is an isosceles trapezoid, so it's a little more special. Now this shape, again, is a parallelogram. It has four sides, which makes it a quadrilateral. But this one's special because it has two pairs of opposite parallel sides. So we have this side and this side being completely parallel to each other. But then we also have the top and the bottom sides being parallel with each other. That's what makes a parallelogram a parallelogram. Now, a rectangle is cool because it has two pairs of opposite parallel sides. So we have this side and this side being parallel to each other, and the top and the bottom as well, just like a parallelogram. But what makes a rectangle a little more special is that it has four right angles, which are all 90 degrees, that make it a rectangle. A rhombus is simply a parallelogram with four equal sides. So this side and this side are parallel to each other, and the top and the bottom as well. But this side and this side are the same length, along with this side and this side. Pretty simple. And now for the square. The square has two pairs of parallel sides. So the top and the bottom are parallel, and both sides are parallel to each other. 
Now, they also have four equal sides to each other. So this length is the same all the way around the square. They also have four right angles, just like a rectangle. The square shares the most attributes with all of the other shapes that are quadrilaterals. Okay, so this chart puts quadrilaterals into perspective. Quadrilaterals are again any shape with four sides. Trapezoids fall under quadrilaterals, but aren't the same as parallelograms. Parallelograms also aren't the same as trapezoids, so we keep them in separate boxes. Parallelograms have a few shapes that fall under them, or within that category. Rectangles, rhombuses, and squares all fall within parallelograms because they share a couple of the same attributes. Rectangles have two parallel opposite sides to each other. They also have four 90 degree angles. Rhombuses have two parallel opposite sides to each other, but the lengths of each side are the same. So when you put those attributes together, you can get a square because the square has four equal sides like a rhombus and it has four 90 degree angles like a rectangle. And then of course, like all parallelograms, have two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel to each other. So now we've covered everything that you need to know about shapes, the categories they belong in, and the attributes that they share with each other. Thanks for listening, third graders.